This week in Latter Day News, celebrities at Roots Tech, Extra Come Follow Me Media, and an Olympic silver medalist. And now, service in Puerto Rico. Latter Day Saints are helping their neighbors. After the 6.4 magnitude earthquake, the church reported that all members and missionaries are safe. Many in the affected area are without power or homes. Through several aftershocks, members continued to give relief by means of water, tents, and other necessities. Celebrities and Family History Roots Tech announced more big-name headliners for their upcoming conference. The speakers include former NFL player Emmett Smith, The blindside mom. You know, you're blessed to have family. You're blessed to have, you know, your health. Um, you know, you just take things, you know, for so much in life you take for granted. And comedian Ryan Hamilton. I think I could sell ice cream in the 50s, maybe. I think that's the kind of look that I have. <laughs> Roots Tech is February 26th through 29th in Salt Lake City. Extra media for Come Follow Me. This week's study includes the story of Nephi building a ship. Videos that may appeal to younger children can be found on Living Scripture Streaming. The Lord showed me how to build it. Well, I'm not going to let my family get into your boat and drown. Also, for a deeper intellectual journey, check out the videos on bookofmormoncentral.org. When Nephi and his family arrived at the Arabian Sea, he gave the sea an odd-sounding name. Eriantum, which he said meant many waters. Learn about other ancient people that took the journey from the old world to the new, just like Nephi's family. Modern readers may wonder whether ancient peoples had ships capable of transoceanic voyaging, but a growing body of evidence confirms that several ancient peoples actually sailed the high seas. Living Scriptures and Book of Mormon Central are two weekly resources for Come Follow Me. And now, Temple Updates. Public tours are now underway for the Durban, South Africa Temple. The public open house takes place over 10 days and welcomes all visitors. The temple will be dedicated on February 16th. On Temple Square, great care is taken to remove statues during the Salt Lake Temple renovation. These beloved Joseph and Hiram statues each weigh 18,000 pounds. I was honored to be asked to do this and take part of this historic event. Never again in anyone's lifetime will this ever happen. At this time, all the area to the south of the temple has either been removed or leveled. This will achieve the architect's goal to provide this iconic temple with an open face to the public. And finally, Olympic silver medalist and church member Noel Picus Pace. 90 miles an hour here, you've got to stay aerodynamic. 87.6 miles per hour. Pace spoke on a church produced Hope Works episode. The skeleton racer talked about winning big in Japan and how she continues to leave a legacy off the ice. Our legacy is left by sharing our talents and skills and what we have learned with others and by helping others. Noel encouraged the audience to set goals and always try new things. You guys are too nice. We just have to be willing to push our fears aside, have a little bit of faith, and try. Thank you so much, you guys. Next time on Latter-day News, see Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon learn why Mormons make the best entrepreneurs. Yeah, Wait, so Mormons. You say Mormons? Mormons, yeah. Are, are great entrepreneurs. Thanks, and join us next week for more Latter-day News.